Many years ago, I arrived as a fresh immigrant in Australia with no English background, feeling scared. I used to think that people with an accent could not be as successful as native speakers. Do you think that is true? In this video, I will tell you what actually holds back language learners, give you an exercise that you can practice every day for 30 days, help you feel more confident when you speak, and you're going to feel like you can conquer the English speaking world after all of this. But first, think about this. What is the point of communication? Is it to tell a message to another human being? Perhaps it is to connect. Is it to be understood? Think about this. You can be understood while you have an accent. However, what holds people back is something else. I have lived over 20 years in an English speaking world, so I've met a lot of native speakers. And while 90% of those humans are easy to understand, there are probably 10% of people who are natives, yet they are very hard to understand. Why is that? Let me show you something. Uh, let me just grab a book off of the shelf, put my mic down, find a random page. Okay, listen to this. What is music? To many music can only mean great masters, Beethoven, Debussy, Mozart. And to others music is Busta Rhymes, to Dre and Moby. As opposed to, what is music? To many, music can only mean the great masters, Beethoven, Debussy and Mozart. To others, music is Busta Rhymes, Dr. Dre and Moby. People are lazy with their pronunciation. They slur their words. However, if you, yes, you, pronounce things well while having a beautiful foreign accent, well, people won't have much trouble understanding you. So for the next 30 days, five to 10 minutes per day, I want you to do the following. I want you to find a text to read in your target language and read it slowly, pronouncing every word as well as you can, real slow, painfully slow. And what this is going to do is really take care of any unwanted habits. Pronounce every syllable. What is music? To many, music can only mean the great masters. Sometimes, some of us have a tendency to go fast. Learn to speak slowly. So now that you have an exercise you can do, how are you going to know you are pronouncing things well? How do you know whether you're improving or not? What I recommend here is a process that I've learned from my communication mentor. And the process is called record and review. And it's a very simple yet powerful process that can be applied to anything you learn. If you start implementing it, you'll be better than 95% of people who don't. And you'll massively speed up your learning process. What you do is you take your cell phone and while you're doing the articulation or the pronunciation exercise, you record yourself record a video of yourself and then watch that video back. You can compare it to how a native speaker would say it. But even just listening to yourself, you hear the mistakes that you make and simply compare that to your voice. If you're reading something that doesn't have a sound to go with it, when you're unsure of a certain word, Google Translate has a built-in feature where it reads words for you and you can easily find out the sound of individual words. 
I recommend you do this process as often as you have time for it, but at least once per week. The final thing I want you to come away with is as simple as this. In order to get better at a language, you have to use the language. Here, practice really does make perfect. Practice makes perfect. Work on your articulation. Accent can also change over time. During my first few years living in Australia, I had a really tough time adapting. So what happened was I tried not to adapt the Australian accent and picked up a British one from watching TV shows from Britain. Eventually, I got over that and didn't mind the Australian sound anymore and I picked up some of the Australian accent. However, eventually I moved countries again and I've absorbed some of the Canadian culture and some part of their accent as well. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to know that our brains have this thing called neuroplasticity. Who we are and how we sound can always change. It's just a habit. It's just a bunch of muscle movements. You can change that. How we speak is merely a set of habits and muscle movements. You have to want it. And be patient. Just practice. And through practice, change those habits. Click over here to check out another one of my language learning videos.